Seraphim 17, bringing you the final battle in this God of War 3 Chaos Difficulty video walkthrough. And there's a little jump between these videos because once you finish rotating the, the lever, Pandora does this big old fucking thing and it's all in cutscene and I'm cutting all that shit out so the next part on is the fight with Zeus and as you can see straight away you can block everything Zeus does and that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna beat him up and when he jumps up into the air I'm gonna jump up with him and I'm gonna grab him and punch him into the ground and then I'm gonna beat him up he moves away I jump with him I punch him back into the ground and this first form of the fight is really really easy don't use your magic don't use your rage just block his moves attack him and grab him when he goes into the air what happens is you're gonna do a quick time event and if you, if you block that at the right time and you do do a counter move which will help you but uh, once you've beaten this form he then gets a couple more moves and he gets an electricity attack that you can block but he then does a dash move and the dash move is unblockable so you need to be careful of that but if you stay as close to him pretty much at all times he rarely does it but this first form block everything he does because you're not in any danger and if you time it right you can full on mess him up you can jump over those attacks if you don't want to to block them you're gonna see me do that in the next stage of the fight because for some reason because he does electricity and he does the punches I couldn't get the timing down and I was making sloppy mistakes so I decided to start evading the attacks because the first two punches of that combo should I say are blockable the third one isn't but if you do a counter you will automatically stun him and he won't finish the combo which is probably what I should have said from the start but get good at countering his three punch combo because it will make this fight a lot quicker but just watch him now he's doing his combo he does two punches then I jump over the attack and there's a reason for that because he now does an electricity move that I keep fucking up that's the electricity you can block it all and now I block the first two I jump over and I punch his back up and another reason for jumping instead of countering that's the dash you cannot block by the way I got lucky then because he kinda didn't do it he kinda cancelled it in midair but when I was countering the, the punch combos on the second round I wasn't getting enough punches in on Zeus he would start blocking them and he'd evade and I don't know why that was happening if if that doesn't happen for you feel free to block and counter but for me I was getting more hits in when I was jumping over him and that's the reason I'm doing this strategy because I was guaranteed the first two hits almost every time and it's just another test of patience because there's no checkpoint even though there's been that quick time event if you die now you will have to fight him from that very first phase of the fight so and let me tell you Zeus can kill you very quick he can kill you in in like three moves if you're unlucky especially if it's the big ones when he hits you because he does some massive damage but keep rinsing repeating watching what he does and as soon as you see the circle above his head that's your first checkpoint but that move, when he goes up into the air, he's going to come down either on an angle at you or directly down and you need to roll away from it, but the timing can be a bastard, so you're probably going to get hit a few times with that move and it does a significant amount of damage. It's just a case of hoping that he doesn't spam it, because like a lot of boss AIs, there's times when a boss will be super fair and there's times when a boss will be super cheap. And look, he's up again. I would never try jumping and grabbing him because you don't seem to have enough time to do it. That's why I would definitely recommend evading. And then just beat him up. Keep blocking. Jump over. Beat him up. Save your magic. You can actually use your magic, I think, because it gets refilled in the in the next section of the game before the, the second encounter. Uh, I don't think the Rage of the Sparta does, but you could always build it back up because you're going to be fighting Zeus for quite a long time. Once again, dash out, dash, dosh. <laughs> dash out of the way of his, his, his ground strike. As you can see, he's spamming it. He didn't quite get me full on with that. He got me with the area of effect, and that's why it only took about one fifth of my life. But if he gets you with the fist, it could be even game over and he takes a beating because this is on chaos so expect this fight to, to take a few minutes while you're, you're pummeling him and the main reason for it is because he blocks a lot and you can't get enough punches off but do your thing don't get too impatient because impatience grows mistakes and you'll just end up dying and have to do it all again 
and just keep kicking his ass. Blocking his lightning. Jumping over him and punching him in the back. Dodging his dash. And as far as last bosses go on God of Wars, I still think God of War 1 had the best one. It was epic, it was huge, it had multi-layers, and then it had a, a, an interestingly difficult fight that came out of nowhere. And it were all pretty epic. And these, these ones, don't get me wrong, they look good, they play well enough, but... I just think Zeus is a bit cheap in this game. I think he was a, a lot better in, in God of War 2, because he was challenging, but he wasn't cheap. And there you go. Press the circle, and there's your checkpoint. And I just beat him into the wall, Terminator style. And that is the first form of the fight done. And the second form is really easy, so... If you thought that was tough, and you think he's going to get tougher, he doesn't get much tougher, even in the third stage, he isn't that bad. The only problem with the third phase is he grows clones of himself and they will attack you all at the same time and the lock-on's going to fuck you because you're not going to be able to attack the real Zeus. And He also regains his life and I'm not a fan of a boss that can regain its life. I think it's just cheap. But the best thing about this is you can stop him from regaining his life if you see him do it and if you can hit him early enough. If you can't, you might as well just restart because he's going to go back to before you beat him up and it's, it's not very fair but, you know, it's what they've decided to do. So I don't think this cutscene is skippable and the only reason I haven't trimmed it out is because this is the end of the game and it actually makes sense to, to show you the intermissions between the battles. Look at my beard! I have the best beard. Like, no! I have the best goatee! And there you go. First form is down. Now there's some interesting camera trickery as Kratos wakes up after that little conflict. And then you get to save, and then you get to follow the, the trail that, that Zeus has left. And then you get to fight him out on a platform. But I get a, a suspicious feeling that's probably going to be on the second part of this final battle with Zeus. There he is, there's Zeus and his giant beard. And there's Pandora's box with Pandora inside it. And as you can see, Pandora's box is empty. It's the greatest metaphor of all. And there you go, Zeus starts pissing on your chips because he thinks he's won. But as most zookeepers will tell you, never poke a bear with a stick. And that's exactly what he's just done. So, Kratos is not best pleased. Pandora's out of the way so we can focus on his original intentions, which were killing gods and doing it in the most disgusting way possible. So, now you can control. Follow where Zeus went, make sure you use the save point, and get ready for the second fight. It isn't challenging, it's more of a cutscene than anything else. But you can take damage, so don't take it lightly. But uh, we're coming to the end of this video, guys, so thanks for watching. I hope it's helped. I hope it's still helping, because there's a little bit more to go before the end. And um, thank you for taking the time, and you take care now.